So the first one said, have you ever met someone famous? Yeah, I've met a lot of people that are famous, but the ones that would come to mind would be when I was living in Dublin, I think around 2012, I met a couple of people because I was always tagging along with one of my aunties, Vicky Robert Hospitality. And the ones that would come to mind would be when I met Whiskey, because Whiskey and G DJ Exclusive was coming into town. And I'm going to leave the photo because I took a photo with him and with DJ Exclusive. I'm going to leave a photo on the screen as well. So we went to pick them up at the airport in uh, Dublin, Ireland. So I remember going with her and I was so excited. <laughs> Everybody. welcome back to my channel is that proud black woman again and thank you so much for tuning in on another of my 12 days of Christmas videos so what are we talking about today I know you've already seen it like this uh, this period is just making me so happy I don't know is it just me Christmas period lockdown or not it makes me so happy do you get what I mean like the only thing that I don't like about Christmas is all the shopping you have to do because naturally I don't like shopping either online or in person like I just wish like I'm so rich and I have like a personal shopper that just goes shop for me and all of that like if I could have my way throughout the year I might not even do any shopping does that even make anything but I don't like I'm not the type that likes window shopping or any kind of shopping I don't like it like once I go into the store I start feeling dizzy I don't know <laughs> even on the online like anyway so that's the only part I don't like about it but the gift you're getting gift you know the festivities the decorations everything about Christmas is just so fantastic anyway before we get into the video so the black owned business that I'm going to be showcasing today is not just one but two different people so one is that for the lawyer which I am showing you the screen right now and she is doing something revolutionary she's changing and building the community the black community via the use of food and showcasing our favorite you know staple in Africa which is jollof rice and she has been doing a lot of community outreach with this promoting black owned businesses and yeah she's going to be having jollof rice concert if you're not there on the 19th of this month you're just wrong okay so please Please check her out and yeah she's a lawyer and she's I call her a lawyerpreneur which is a word that I made up but she's really doing something revolutionary you have to key into this fantastic you know initiative jollof rice is fantastic if you want to be fantastic like jollof rice then key into it and the next person is also a lawyer her name is Miriam she's the founder of Canada vendors and she's also a party to this fantastic revolution called Jolla Fries Concert. She is very fantastic people. She has organized a lot and lot of you know free events connection with people networking and you know she's also a platform is for promoting black business if you want people to know your product she's your plug she would advertise your product she has more than 7500 people on her platform so yeah you're giving her like she knows best about advertising and things like that and she's also supporting this uh, this jollof rice concert on the 19th as i said before if you are not at this event you're just wrong okay so let us appreciate these two people that are building the black community one stone at a time they're fantastic and you know what yeah. to do subscribe like share you know turn on your post notifications so that every single time i post new videos you're one of the first to get notified and all that good stuff so if you've been following me, if you've been watching all these videos for a couple of days now, you would know that I have a giveaway going on. So what better way for you to, you know, key into this giveaway, if not now. So I'm going to believe in the, you know, the rules on how to get, on how to uh, win the ring light that I'm giving out in the description box. So make sure you check it out. Make sure you follow me on all my social media so that you're like current with what is going on and whoever wins as well. That's how I'm going to be announcing on my Instagram. So please, please, please. Follow the rules and you could just be the winner of that ring light that I'm giving out. So what are we talking about today? I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So the funny part is I'm not seeing the questions before. I'm just going to be seeing it now. So I'm going to be answering them 100% and yeah, you're just going to see my reaction to the questions and my answers as well. So let's go. That's why I have my uh, iPad here. So the first one said, have you ever met someone famous? Yeah, I've met a lot of people that are famous. 
but the ones that would come to mind would be when I was living in Dublin, I think around 2012, I met a couple of people because I was always tagging along with one of my aunties, Vicky Robert Hospitality. I'm going to leave a link in the description box and I'm going to leave a, a page also on the screen somewhere. So usually she, she's, to, she's into hospitality and every you know every celebrities that come for shows or things like that even not even celebrities alone but also any um maybe international personality that comes into town she's one of the first to know so she usually goes and gives that she's a registered nurse so she would you know uh, make sure that she takes care of them and make sure that she sometimes she interviews them and all of that or receive them from the airport like in the traditional nigerian way and all of that so i was living with her when I just uh, when I was still in school, but the ones that would come to mind would be when I met Whiskey, because Whiskey and G DJ Exclusive was coming into town, and I'm going to leave the photo because I took a photo with him and with DJ Exclusive. I'm going to leave a photo on the screen as well. So we went to pick them up at the airport in uh, Dublin, Ireland. So I remember going with her, and I was so excited. And also, I remembered another one, Essence. If you know Essence in Nigeria, also. She also came to town and we went as well to get um, to welcome her and we even went clubbing with her. I will also put the photos, but inside the photos, I just realized that I was just scrolling on my phone, scrolling away, not even participating in whatever they were doing. So, <laughs> But I'm going to put the photos also on the screen. So yeah, I've met a couple of people that are famous. The second question says, would you like to be famous? Hmm. That I don't know. Like sometimes I always feel like, what if my YouTube channel goes like, what if it grows more than this? Would I have my freedom? Because I don't like not being able to have my freedom. I don't like people knowing me wherever I go. Like if I go to the mall, and people say, oh, hi, hi. Like I, I feel like it's going to be weird. So I don't know if I want to be famous or not. It's, it's, it's a scary thought. The money that comes with it, yeah, I like it. But the fame itself, where you, you can have your privacy, yeah, I'm scared of, about that part of it. So it took me a long while before I even came onto YouTube. So hmm, we'll see how it happens if I get there. <laughs> Question three is, if you could change one thing that happened, what would it be? Hmm. If I could change one thing that happened, what, it, what would it be? I really don't know. I like my life as it is. It wasn't the best life, but... I feel like everything that I've gone through have made me who I am today and I've learned from it and I've moved on. So would I really change anything? I don't think so, but I might, I might tweak some things. Hmm, would I, you know, I, I, that needs me to think, but right now I think I like the way it's going. Would I want it to be better? Of course, yes. But would I want to change anything? I feel like not really because it made me the person I am today. So yeah, I'll just leave it like that. Uh, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? If I could live anywhere, hmm, I'm already living in Canada. I never really liked the US, no offense, no offense, but it's just because of a lot of things going on, racism, you know, capitalism, where everything is just, I don't know. Where would I like to live? I've never really thought about it, but I'm here in Canada anyway, so I feel like, yeah, I love my Canadians, so yeah, Canada would be the place to be. Um, the fifth one is, have you ever been in the snow all the freaking time? Like I live in Canada, it's freaking cold here all the time. There's snow. In fact, it just snowed a couple of days ago. So yeah, I'm always, I've always been in the snow. Uh, number six question, who would be your ideal partner? Hmm. Who would be my ideal partner? I'm just going to skip that question because you all know that I have a partner already. I'm just going to skip it before you get me in trouble. <laughs> uh, do you still have childhood teddy bear? Nope, I don't. Because uh, when I was really little, I was in the UK, then I moved to Nigeria, then from Nigeria to uh, back to Europe, and then from Europe here to Canada. So I don't really have a lot of things saved up. So yeah, I don't have a childhood teddy bear. But I'll tell you a secret. I use my kids teddy bear. <laughs> To sleep they're so cuddly and warm and it would be ridiculous buying myself a teddy bear so i just when my son sleeps i'll just go grab his teddy bear his teddy bear is almost as big as i am i'll grab it and hug it and i'll have a best sleep so don't even shame me about it i can see you don't shame me about it and then the next question i think i'm going to do just two more and that will be it for this video i don't want it to be too long okay uh so um how many pairs of shoes do you have 
I'm not the type, you know, I feel like it's weird. A lot of ladies I know, like they have an entire room of shoes. I don't really have, first of all, I have gigantic feet. So it's difficult for me to get shoes in female, like beautiful shoes in female size. So most of the time I just wear sneakers. I'm a size 11 and even the size 11 sneakers if i buy from women it will be too tight so i end up buying from men size so it will look like too masculine so i don't really have a lot of shoes i might have probably 10 15 pairs and out of those 10 or 15 pairs to 15 pairs i only wear like three all the time all others are just there because I, I i don't really go anywhere i'm not the kind that really goes out i'm i'm a own breed <laughs> so yeah i don't think i don't have a lot of shoes um and a favorite holiday beach mountain or city first of all i am freaking scared of water i have a phobia for water so there's no way in hell that my favorite holiday will be the beach do i like going to the beach of course but i sit all the way far away where i can't actually get to the water or if the waves are coming you can't get to me i'll just sit there and make barbecue or just some bait whatever but actually going into the water no uh mountain hell no why would I want to go to the mountain where there are bears and, and coyotes and things that can... And I hate hiking. Like, why would I want to go there? City, of course. I'm a city girl. I would like to go to a city, stay in like a, a penthouse and look look at the beautiful skyline and all of that. Yeah, I'm a city girl. I like to go to the city. So, yeah. So, the final question that I'm going to be doing. Do you like TV talent shows? Uh, I feel like it's 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 interesting to watch, especially things like um, shows like uh, what's it called, America's Got Talent or Britain's Got Talent or American Idols and things like that. Yeah, it's 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 fun to watch, and I like the competition, people fighting for a million dollars and all of that. Yeah, and then the best person wins at the end of the day. Yeah, I like that. So anyway, those are all the questions that I would be answering if you want me to do another question and answer or if you want to ask me your own q a and you want me to respond to them make sure you go subscribe to my channel make sure you follow me on all my social media and you know dm me with your questions i'm going to be putting up a poll as well for you to ask me questions so whatever question you ask i'm going to make a video about it and i'm going to respond to them nothing is off limits ask me and i would be i'll keep it 100 okay i'll keep it 100 with you guys thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe like share and make sure that you give me a huge thumbs up and comment down below and yeah we still have a lot of videos to go before christmas so please do well to always check back on this channel turn on your post notifications so that every time i post you're one of the first to get notified and you know enter into that draw for the for the uh giveaway you don't want to miss out on this one like it's a juicy giveaway so make sure that you follow all the rules the rules are in the description box i love you so much and have yourself a fantastic christmas and holiday if you don't celebrate christmas love you